careful of what you allow in your spirit, die. Especially in America. Dio got accepted into university. He wants to come and live with you. From Nigeria, right? What's your GPA? He's got a 4.0. What? Are you serious? Thank you so much for joining us today. How are you? I'm good. Thank you for having me. Uh, so you've gone from Beast of No Nation to Spider-Man Homecoming, now Tasmanian Devil. So what was it like stepping into your character Dio's shoes? Well, stepping to Dio's shoes wasn't difficult for me because I can relate to his story as a kid, you know, coming from Africa and going to school here, you know, having to learn everything about the culture here, how things work here. You know, it was like that for me. So I was able to understand the character when I read the script. And how does Dio's life change when he discovers the Tasmanian Devils? What struggles did he go through? Yeah, I think I think he felt that he's more control of his destiny now. Like, you know, his father wasn't telling him what to do. It's he wanted to do it for himself for the first time. Yeah, talk a little bit about Dio's uh, relationship with his father. What is that dynamic like? I don't think Dio ever had a good relationship with his father because, you know, as a kid back in Nigeria, his dad left to come to the U.S., you know, to work, and he was left as a kid. And when he grew up, when he came here, he, you know, wanted to discover everything for himself, but his dad was trying to control him, and he didn't like that. So even though he was living with them, he was living with him, Dio always felt like he was alone. Yes, so he, and, yeah. and going through with the pledges, uh, you know, to joining the Tasmanian Devils, it seems like they end up forming some great relationships and a bond that will last a lifetime. So when you were filming this on set, did you guys end up becoming friends for life? Oh yeah, like the whole castmates, like we were always, having fun on set, behind the scene, just dancing. Like we all had the same kind of music taste. So we were having fun. And yeah, I think we've become friends for life. We still have group chat that we talk in and stuff. Oh, that's great. That's beautiful. And there's one scene that's very powerful. It's the scene where uh, Dio is being uh, hit with a paddle over and over again during a hazing initiation, which is kind of controversial in itself, but his friends come and kind of bring get him through that scene. What was it like for you filming that? Well, that, that scene was intense. I honestly don't remember how that scene went. Like, I don't remember how we filmed it, but I knew I wasn't, you know, comfortable with it like it was hard to do but i i just don't know what happened something came in they just joined me and we just filmed it and it came out great but, yeah it almost yeah. sounds like you were so much in the character like you were taken to a different place or something that you can't remember it it just took over the character and just you were you know transformed well, yeah I had, I had to lose myself and just you know it felt like you know pledging to a real fraternity. So I was all into it and I didn't remember anything. Wow, incredible. Uh, so can you let uh, people know when Tasmanian Devil is out and how they can watch it? Oh, so Tasmanian Devil is coming out on the 9th of February and it's gonna be on Movies On Demand. It's gonna be on iTunes, I think on um, PlayStation and Xbox. Oh, cool. Awesome. Thank you so much for your time. Really appreciate it. And like I said, love the movie. So thank you. Don't give me that nonsense. That is on you, not on God. I reject every devilish covenant over your life. I'm calling to tell you I'm sure. Uh, hi, this is Abraham Amata, and I'm just being boss. <laughs>